YouTube. Uh, more scale mail today. I've uh, been uh, talking about having another body made. I showed some sneak peeks on Facebook and stuff here over the past couple weeks. I was approached by a guy on Instagram. He happens to live down here in Texas too. And he had some uh, 3D designs. And we worked out some sizes and things like that. And this is the first one. It's like a 32 Ford Vicky. And it's the first print of this body. Um, I think he is planning on selling these. I'm not sure what the price and stuff is going to be yet, but I'll try to put a link down in the description box so you can find him. He does have a Facebook page. It's Nightcrawlers 3D. Um, really good guy. He's really easy to work with. And uh, he's got a lot of different designs. And his 3D printer is actually pretty, pretty high quality. I'll show you some close-ups here. All right, so looking at the main part of the cab, you can see the grain, but he's he's spent some time smoothing it out. Um, it really doesn't have much texture to the touch at all. You can just see where the, the texture was. The roof is uh, rounded, and it is a uh, very true to scale. And just the details, the visor is printed on and uh, drilled. The windshield and the rear window will have to be cut out, but. Uh, they are very thin, should be pretty easy to do. He said the back one's a little thicker, so I might have to use a Dremel, but the front one could probably be cut out with the uh, X-Acto knife. I don't know how steady my hand is, so I'll have to uh, try that someday when I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the original design had the roof, or the hood and the grill and everything all one piece, but that was a little troublesome to try and print, so... I broke it up that way it can be run without a hood, without a grill, or different grills, or whatever you want to do. Um, this thing is, is awesome. We, we, we kind of sized it off of the 32, so it's it would should fit directly on this chassis. Um, it doesn't fit so well here on the other chassis because it's just a little bit too long. The chassis is, not the, not the body. But, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, let me spin it around here. You can see the the uh, body line arches across the back like it's supposed to. Just real, real nice. One of my favorite hot rod bodies of all time. Those look so good chopped and with a visor like that. It's just perfect. Um, one thing we did, and he did, there's no notch or anything in the back for your rear axle. So this could be used for a lot of different things. So you, your wheelbase is not set with the body so you can use it on a off-road buggy to something scratch built custom chassis like what I've been doing to uh, anything anything that's wide enough it's about six six and a half wide in the back and four and a half I think in the front somewhere around about uh, because we based the dimensions off of the 32 body over here the, the Roadster so it's very similar in as width and stuff with that. So it should ideally just fit right on there. It's a little bit shorter though. But the widths and everything are the same. So the tires will sit about the same. But uh, that this might actually work well. on Because on when I did this 32, I had to cut and lengthen the frame in the front. The uh, bruiser frame. So this might fit better without having to do that on something like this on my old Hilux frame the, the possibilities are endless I mean this I can bring it up a little bit further might have to shorten the frame down like I did on the uh, the other one I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one yet I have no no set plans I just he hit me up with this body this design and I was very intrigued because these things are so few and far between right now there's not a whole lot of uh, different bodies available for for builds like this, and it's just uh, it's just pretty cool. He sent me a couple of different grills. This one, the, the the actual fins in it didn't come out perfect, so he made another one and uh, came out a lot better. It's a lot thicker. This is really solid. This piece, I don't think you'd have to worry about breaking. You can't even really move the fins when you run your finger across it, and. Uh, not sure what that's for, but <laughs> flexible piece. 
But uh, yeah, I, I still this is a long way from from becoming another build. But I love that body. That body style is like I said, is one of my all-time favorites. And that thing is gonna look look mean on something. But uh, yeah, give him a shout if y'all are interested in these. I'm not sure what the price is gonna be yet. It is uh, not it, it's not as as fine a print as the Shapeways print, but it is not anywhere near as bad as this print was. I'm still sanding and smoothing on this thing, but you can just see grain everywhere. And that's got like 10 coats of heavy primer on it, and it's just not coming out very good. So he's 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 fine-tuning his process, and this thing, so you can see the print, but you can't feel it as nearly as bad. It's a very, very fine resolution. One of the best I've seen from a, a at-home printer. So, uh, yeah. It's gonna be cool. I hope uh, I hope to see some more of you guys have some stuff like this popping up. I've seen a lot of uh, hot rods and things lately on Facebook, and the different groups and such, and uh, it's pretty neat to to see everybody else's take on this type of uh, genre of the hobby. And there's really no limit to what we can do if you can bolt things together, and if you, if you can braze or weld, then the world is your oyster. We can do all kinds of stuff. I'm still learning every 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 time I do anything. I'm learning something new about what to do, what not to do on these things. But I just wanted to share that with y'all. Um, if you're interested in the body, give them a shout. It's Nightcrawlers 3D on Instagram and on uh, Facebook, I believe. I'll have a link in the box below. Um, I've got a feeling it's going to be pretty reasonably priced. It's not going to be Shapeways expensive. So, uh, yep. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching and supporting the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video.